duplicate stitch, which we would do to create the letters on this little Mrs. Weasley sweater Christmas ornament. And a duplicate stitch, it's called that because you're duplicating the exact stockinette stitches on your work. And the theory here is that you go up from the inside, right at the, the point of the V, the bottom point of the V. And then you're going to either go up the right or the left. And then from the front, you're going to go back behind the V above that. So if the bottom here is where I went in, this is the stitch we're going to make, but you actually go back behind one up. It, it feels sometimes like it's really far up there. If you're going in a straight line like this, you'll go from the this piece, you'll go from the right on one, and then you'll go from the left on the next. If you're going to be going to the right, I'm making an H here, so when I get to the middle section and I'm going to be going across to the right, I would always go left to right and then back down in. So let me show you what I mean. So here is my next stitch and I'm at the bottom, can you see where I am? I'm at the bottom of this V. Okay. So I just pull my yarn up and then this is the stitch that I am going to make next. So it's the stitch all the way above it. I'm going to go behind that one, behind both the legs, pull through. Okay, so that was the first, the right side. And then you go back down into the V. This is the neatest when you are going on the diagonal or even side by side. It's neater than when it's one full vertical line like this. You get the idea. Uh, you just kind of do your best when it's vertical. So we're going to do another one. I'm going to go up at the bottom of the V for the next stitch. And this time I'm going to go to the left. So I'm going to go up this one and it's the one above that. You kind of feel like you're skipping the whole stitch that you're making. I'm going to go left to right this time. And you'll see that it traces that stitch. And now we're going to do the other leg. We're going to go back down on the right. You just keep going like that until you have finished uh, all of your letters. There's a link online on the pattern page that shows how to make all of the letters. And you'll be able to finish your monogram for your sweater. That's how you do duplicate stitch.